Max's spoke ptarmigan. What a beauty. That's great. Friday, August 4th, 2006. Hyannisport, Massachusetts, aboard the Ptarmigan. Ptarmigan. What is the, what's the name? What's the reference? Um, my father's boat was called Resolute. Right. And the sort of the first Resolute was the, there was a, a fast Resolute which won the America's Cup uh -huh. in, at the turn of the century. And then the first Resolute was a British ship that um, made the first crossing of the Northwest Passage. Oh, okay. And when they made it back down the other side, they re... Her name was Ptarmigan, and they renamed her Resident. Oh, I see. Ptarmigan is a seabird. Right. Uh, so, I don't know. So, it's an ex extraordinarily competitive uh -huh. group yeah. that raises them. Mm -hmm. There's a... There's a... a a series each summer called the Scudder the Cup, uh -huh. and the, um, they race at like three or, three or four different yacht clubs they move around, yeah. and uh, there's a guy who won it about four years ago, whose name is Carl Anderson, and he races every year, uh -huh. and you know he consistently comes in the top four or five, but so do the other five people, and Carl has won the Etchells World Championship, and he's won the J-Boat World Championship, I think, four times. And there's 40,000 competitors in the J-Boats. So it gives you an idea of how... But he can't win how, this little race. How, what? You can't, he can't race, come you in can't first. beat these guys here. <laughs> <laughs> no. And, you know, and he's, he's very serious about it. So, it, it, but I'll tell you one thing else. My Uncle Teddy yeah. can win almost every time. Really? So does he stay up with it? He's he's nope. on the water a lot. Nope. Just he remembers really on how. On the water, but never in these. But yeah. I, uh, the last time I raced, yeah. we raced two. Came in, you know, fourth or fifth. Yeah. And then we pulled up to his boat and said, "Come on, come on, come on!" Yeah. And he jumped on and we won. Whoa! He just and, got uh, the instincts. He's got a, He's really, really good. And yeah. uh, and my brother Joe is uh, even a little bit better than. Yeah. Him. Yeah. The water and the wind together just create some kind of magic. It's just unbelievable. Right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, what is it? What? How, have you figured out what it does to your soul when you're out here long enough to have it do it to you? No, I have no idea. Yeah. You know, I I, I really don't know. I mean, uh, I I think too that it's different being on salt water than on fresh water. I think it probably, it sounds weird, but I think it probably has something to do with having so much liquid inside us. It's like we're going back. Yeah, what do you think of that? Yeah, that makes sense. And and I guess we were born in it too, right? Yeah. Born in the water. We came out of the, came water, out of the water eons ago. And and, and when we, on the on our birthday, right? Yeah. Swam. Yeah. So, huh. this is a really pretty boat. That is nice. She's a wooden hull. She's got the metal sticks, though, which yeah. is unfortunate. Is Hyannis Port two words? Yes. Huh. I, they, they wrote it wrong on the back of my boat. Oh, I see. Which is kind of irritating. Huh. It's, the, the post office has it as two Whoa, words. Whoa, look at this one. Different. My God. That is amazing. Let's get the zoom on this one. You should go aboard and film that bathtub. <laughs> the mahogany bathtub? Jeez. Oh, this is a classic. Old wooden motorboat. Huh. Have you ever had any close calls at sea? <laughs> well, you haven't been anywhere if you haven't been aground. <laughs> ah, there you go. <laughs> With the waves pounding on you? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't. If you didn't really, then you'd never. Then you just stayed in a channel. Your own yeah, life. right, right. So. so you've been baptized. Yeah. <laughs> That's my. That's your. Oh, she is gorgeous. Oh man. How long did you have her? 
That's a very good question. Does she sleep? Yeah. yeah. You know that's. Did you know that's the right way of saying it? Really? Yeah. How many does she sleep? You know, in other words, you never. You don't ask someone. Nobody. Everybody does now. But yeah. In the old days, you never said how long is your bow. Ah, that's the more discreet way to ask the question. Yeah. <laughs> like how big is your ranch? Yeah. <laughs> Eight or ten. Yeah. Eight or ten. The ten would be really yeah. proud. Where have you gone with her this summer? Um, really nowhere. Just yeah, Martha's around. Vineyard and then yeah. Talk. Yeah. yeah. We, we, uh, I haven't done a big trip really almost since my, since my children got it, you know, any age. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's too long for them. Yeah. And it's too long for me. That's right. And it's really fun here. It is. It's like no simple highway between the dawn and the dark of night. And if you go, no one may follow that. Path is for your steps. What music would you pick for a sail on Ptarmigan? Ripple. Ripple? What is that? I don't know that. What is he doing? Ripple? Yeah. Is it Grateful Dead? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, that would be my. I knew that, I knew the genre. Yeah, that song. It's, it's the demo beautiful song. Yeah. Right. The to water. Yeah. Okay, I'll find that. What? I'll find that. Oh, I'll put it on? Yep. Mix a little music with it. I got the rules to guide you. If I knew the way, I would take you home. Da 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 da. 